I'm down at Lyme Regis fossil collecting. Lots of rain today. Out with the rucksack, walking stick, hammer, leggings, and boots. And we're off fossil collecting. Let's see what we can find on the Jurassic Coast. So a real grey day here in Lyme Regis. The sea is quite rough, so it'll be washing the mudslides a bit. No cars at the car park at Charmer Road car park. I'm about to head down onto the beach. It's quite windy weather. We're getting near to the beach now. You can hear the waves crashing up against the sea defences more so now as I get closer to the sea. And not many people will have come down these steps at Charmouth Road Car Park towards the sea today because uh, it's one of those really wet days down here on the Jurassic Coast. So a bit of proper fossil collecting weather here in Lyme Regis, here in November. No one out on the beaches, the beach to yourself as the tide lowers, the low tide heading our way this afternoon. See in between the rocks, hopefully, an ice backbone of an Ichthyosaurus that would be a real prize to find at the moment. And down away from the dangerous cliffs, there of uh, the uh, limestone layers, there you can see that slip down and fall down all the time. And I'll have a look at between the rocks for am I to preserve it for this goal? We've quite a few years' experience of uh, breaking the right rocks to find the fossils here on uh, the beach of Lyme Regis. I've got some of the uh, Arneosteros species of ammonite. They don't always break out that nicely. Preserved in calcite and uh, some of them I'll cut and polish and uh, some of them I'll pair as well. Just going to head down the beach now and uh, see in the iron pyrites fields in the Fool's Gold where some of the little ammonites perfectly preserved in the Fool's Gold will be. And no one on the beach today down here along the Jurassic Coast. So I've stopped at this patch, there's quite a bit of iron pyrites, the fool's gold in this area. And uh, the sea's going out nicely now. And you can just see near some of the metal from the old Victorian bottle dump. There's uh, one of the ammonites preserved in fool's gold in the iron pyrites patches on the beach, the golden areas. And these are all good for finding the fossils in. So if you just flip that piece of the metal away, there you can see one of the little ammonites preserved in the pool's gold. Whoops, I've dropped it. Ah, it's only a piece this time, it's just a broken bit. It shows you the destructive force of the sea, breaking these little fossil ammonites into pieces and also actively washing them out for you from the mudslides so you can find them on the beach. Little one there preserved in the pool's gold, little baby on the top. Another one from the Jurassic Age. Quite a desolate beach today. I've made it up towards Charmouth a bit further. And uh, there's always some nice blocks of fossils on up this far along the coast. You can see these limestone blocks with ammonites there preserved in calcite. They're always fun to look at. And all the ammonite specimens there fossilized on top of all the structure in. So it's worth having a look all the way along the beach, see what you can find. Well I've got a small handful of ammonites preserved in fool's gold, having found them along the Jurassic coast. I'll take them and wash them at the water's edge. Here's a bit of fossil wood, monkey puzzle tree from the Jurassic, washed up along the shoreline here. And a limestone rock. Thanks for watching this little video of me coming out here fossil collecting at low tide. And I will uh, show you the ammonites. I'll show you the little batch of material I found fossil hunting today. Please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more fossil hunting 